Hi everyone, I hope you all had a lovely start to the new year. My body is sore from working out, cause you know, 2020, new year, new me, but it's great. So for this month's theme, obviously it's Valentine's month, but I really wanted to get back into drawing cute animals and no better way than to draw the sweet, adorable, and unique animals in Australia. The fires are still roaring and they need any help that they can, so I will provide some links in the description below for places to donate. Thank you very much. Okay, back to these cuties. We got the koala, the kangaroo, the echidna, the platypus, crocodile, kiwi, emu, and the sugar glider. Okay, moving on. So I wanted to make my calendar on one page this month so I have more space to doodle and write. I really like using these washi tapes. Especially this one because it has that watercolor effect and it gives a really nice border to each section. I added a section for events goals, best ofs, notes, and a to-do list. Then I added a couple kiwis sitting on kiwis. Did you know that kiwis have one of the largest egg to body weight ratios of any bird? Mama's gotta push hard. And the koala. They're so cute. They're always sleeping or always eating. I feel like they're just constantly happy and satisfied. And now mood tracker time. Kept this one pretty simple. I used the bubble text I haven't used since middle school and 29 heart balloons on this little echidna. These guys are so interesting. They have spines like a porcupine, a pouch like a kangaroo, a beak like a bird, and it lays eggs like a reptile. She's got it all. For the habit tracker, I'm keeping it minimal. Rather than struggling with my not so straight lines, I made circles for the calendar and I plan on filling it the days it gets done. I have six different habits, but you could always add more and cater it to what you want to have in your journal. And crocodiles will always have a special place in my heart because I grew up watching Animal Planet and Steve Irwin made all the animals seem special and amazing. The gratitude page is something I know I need to work on. I'm gonna use this time to reflect back at the end of the day and write down one thing that made me feel good. Today, I'm very thankful for one of my coworkers who surprised me with a pastry this morning. On the other side of this page is a brain dump page. This is gonna be where I can just write, draw, add photos, anything. And I think the platypus agrees. Platypus are such interesting fellas. They lay eggs and their fur is as soft as an otter. After this video, go check out a baby platypus photo. You won't regret it. And finally, we have the week at a glance. It's simple. Each day has a section for all the day-to-day -day notes that need to be added. My final drawing is of a mommy and baby kangaroo. Did you know that they can't walk backwards? I guess they always move forward and I hope that I can say the same. Never look back. Or I guess learn from your past and always move forward. On the side, I added a section for my meals. I'm on a health and wellness kick currently, so I wanted to use this space to track what I ate during the day. Maybe I'll notice a habit that I can nip in the butt. Well, I hope this was helpful. And again, don't forget to donate. If you do or already have, let us know where you donated too. We're all sharing this earth, so let's all help to take care of it, especially the ones that are out there in the action. Thanks for everything that you guys do, and thank you for watching, and let me know if you have any fun facts about the animals you like. Take care, and see you later. Bye!